Hi, Brandon and Vanessa here with your quarterly market update for Rockland, California. 2024 edition. Oh yeah, 2024. Let's, let's talk about how many houses are actually on the market right now in Rockland. So population of about 70,000. There's only 130 homes active on the market, but that is the highest amount since October of 2022. Uh, that's kind of crazy to me to think that that's it. I mean, if you're comparing it to Roseville, which has almost two and a half times the population, there's you know over 300 houses available right now. So it's all relative, but that's just something to, to keep watching. Let's look at price per square foot. Price per square foot is currently $342 per square foot. We're up the last three months in a row. Let's keep watching that. Average sold price versus list price. Houses in Rockland are selling for about 97% of what they were originally listed for. That's actually the lowest in Placer County. Most other cities are gonna be 98, 99%. Average days on market, about 28 days. It's pretty normal for this time of year. It's down a little bit from 36 last month. And the average sales price is down $41,000 from last month. And that's really gonna depend on the, the size and types of homes that sell in any given month. Now, months of inventory is an interesting one. We're at two months of inventory, which is the highest it's been since November of 2023, but it's still considered a seller's market. I think that we have a whole lot of uh, houses on the market right now. Um, it's the most that we've had since November 2022, so two years ago. I think buyers are kind of being a little more hesitant. I mean, we're in an interesting economic time. We're dealing with all the political issues of coming up on an election year. So I think that you're having less buyers, you're having more homes, and the owners are having to do price reductions. So seeing that they're selling for 97% is meaning that they're having to actually reduce their price from where they originally started. So at this moment, we're not at the place where you're getting tons of money over listing price, but it it is just an interesting market in that in that regard. Well, we really have to watch and see what happens because interest rates have come down recently. They have, they have come down you know, a quarter or maybe a little bit more, they're in the they're in the mid to low sixes and that's way better than 8%. Uh, so I think that we have to watch and see as the Fed meets again here in September, like how much is the interest rate gonna go down? Is it gonna be a quarter? Is it gonna be a half percent? And that's what we have to watch because that's where we're gonna see the change in the market happen. We're curious, like the situation that you're in, if you're at all thinking of making a move, we want to hear what you're thinking about. Are any of these things connecting with you? Are these some of the things you're thinking about when making a huge decision like this of selling your home, maybe buying another one? We'd love to hear from you. So put in the comments below. So if you're waiting for those prices to drop in order to sell your home to buy another home, we have something super special for you. It's part of our house to home blueprint, our signature system, and it is our home sellers checklist. The Home Sellers Checklist is going to help you prepare your house for sale to know exactly how to start preparing and to set yourself up for success to make the most amount of money possible and not be chasing the market when, when the interest rates go down and everybody is going to be wanting to make a move. So get ahead of the competition today and download our Home Sellers Checklist now.